always thought that I was going to be a lawyer. Because lawyers help people. I, um, I actually studied political science in college and started taking geology classes because I wanted to balance my schedule. And, and then I majored in geology as well. <laughs> After I graduated, I wanted to take some time before I went to law school. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll do a master's in geology. And then when I finished my master's, I was like, oh man, there are so many more questions that I still want to answer. So before I go to law school, I will probably do a PhD. This is what I love. Like, I, I love science. Yeah, that I feel like and now I now know that I can be a scientist and care about people, which I think was just my proxy for, oh, I'm going to be a lawyer because lawyers help people. Yeah. Hi, my name is Olivia Truex, and I'm a PhD student at the University of Otago, which is on the South Island of New Zealand. Um, one of the really important moments on my journey from lawyer to future slash present scientist was the time that I spent um, on the Juneau Icefield, um, studying how these kind of huge glaciers are changing. And one of the things that I found so powerful about that experience was that the Juno Icefield has been going on for over 50 years. Um, so my grandmother could have been part of the expedition when she was a young girl. Um, but based on the measurements that we were taking of how the glaciers were responding to a warming world, um, my grandchildren wouldn't be able to spend time on the Juno Icefield because 80% of it will be gone. I'm studying past climates in Antarctica. So what that looks like is I study the ocean sediments around the continent to try to reconstruct how the ocean behaved um, during the past. My work matters because the past 10,000 years are a time, the kind of the last time that the Antarctic ice sheets retreated. And so they give us a window into what our future might look like. And so what my geologic records do is they take these measured data sets from satellites and from folks wandering around with things to measure, and they extend them back in time. Um, and so what I'm particularly interested in is what what happens to the ocean around Antarctica when ice sheets melt? Um, because 10,000 years ago, the ice sheet in Antarctica was a lot bigger and it shrunk to reach its point that we have now. Um, and so that process of ice sheet retreat is a potential sort of analogy for what we might see in coming decades with anthropogenic climate change. I'm, I guess I'm, as a climate scientist, I'm really afraid of climate change. But on the other hand, I was also surrounded by these people who really gave me hope. Science is so many things. And I think my message would be that the science box is like literally the whole world. It's, it's an orb it's that, you know, it, you can be a scientist or you can be so many other things. You can be a lawyer. <laughs> um, and that is a huge contribution too.